A circumbinary planet is a planet that orbits two stars instead of one. Because of the short orbits of some binary stars, the only way for planets to form is by forming outside the orbit of the two stars. However new studies showed that there is a strong hint that the planet and stars originate from a single disk. Observations and discoveries Confirmed planets PSR B1620-26 The first confirmed circumbinary extrasolar planet was found orbiting the system PSR B1620-26, which contains a millisecond pulsar and a white dwarf and is located in the globular cluster M4. The existence of the third body was first reported in 1993, and was suggested to be a planet based on five years of observational data. In 2003 the planet was characterized as being 2.5 times the mass of Jupiter in a low eccentricity orbit with a semi-major axis of 23 astronomical units. HD 202206 The first circumbinary extrasolar planet around a main sequence star was found in 2005 in the system HD 202206, a Jupiter sized planet orbiting a system composed of a Sun like star and a brown dwarf. HW Virginis Announced in 2008, the eclipsing binary system HW Virginis, comprising a subdwarf B star and a red dwarf, was claimed to also host a planetary system. The claimed planets have masses at least 8.47 and 19.23 times that of Jupiter respectively, and were proposed to have orbital periods of 9 and 16 years. The proposed outer planet is sufficiently massive that it may be considered to be a brown dwarf under some definitions of the term, but the discoverers claimed that the orbital configuration implies it would have formed like a planet from a circumbinary disk. Both planets may have accreted additional mass when the primary star lost material during its red giant phase. Further work on the system showed that the orbits proposed for the candidate planets were catastrophically unstable on timescales far shorter than the age of the system. Indeed, the authors found that the system was so unstable that it simply cannot exist, with mean lifetimes of less than a thousand years across the whole range of plausible orbital solutions. Like other planetary systems proposed around similar evolved binary star systems, it seems likely that some mechanism other than claimed planets is responsible for the observed behavior of the binary stars, and that the claimed planets simply do not exist. Kepler 16. On 15 September 2011, astronomers, using data from NASA's Kepler spacecraft, announced the first partial eclipse-based discovery of a circumbinary planet. The planet, called Kepler 16b, is about 200 light years from Earth, in the constellation Cygnus, and is believed to be a frozen world of rock and gas, about the mass of Saturn. It orbits two stars that are also circling each other, one about two-thirds the size of our Sun, the other about a fifth the size of our Sun. Each orbit of the stars by the planet takes 229 days, while the planet orbits the system's center of mass every 225 days. The stars eclipse each other every three weeks or so. Topic Kepler 453. In 2015, astronomers confirmed the existence of Kepler 453b, a circumbinary planet with orbital period of 240.5 days. Kepler-1647 A new planet, called Kepler-1647b, was announced on June 13, 2016. It was discovered using the Kepler telescope. The planet is a gas giant, similar in size to Jupiter which makes it the second largest circumbinary planet ever discovered, next to PSR B1620-26. It is located in the star's habitable zone, and it orbits the star system in 1107 days, which makes it the longest period of any confirmed transiting exoplanet so far. Topic MXB 1658 to 298 A massive planet around this low mass X-ray binary LMXB system was found by the method of periodic delay in X-ray eclipses. 
Other observations Claims of a planet discovered via microlensing, orbiting the close binary pair MACH 01997 BLG 41, were announced in 1999. The planet was said to be in a wide orbit around the two red dwarf companions, but the claims were later retracted, as it turned out the detection could be better explained by the orbital motion of the binary stars themselves. Several attempts have been made to detect planets around the eclipsing binary system CM Draconis, itself part of the triple system GJ630.1. The eclipsing binary has been surveyed for transiting planets, but no conclusive detections were made and eventually the existence of all the candidate planets was ruled out. More recently, efforts have been made to detect variations in the timing of the eclipses of the stars caused by the reflex motion associated with an orbiting planet, but at present no discovery has been confirmed. The orbit of the binary stars is eccentric, which is unexpected for such a close binary as tidal forces ought to have circularized the orbit. This may indicate the presence of a massive planet or brown dwarf in orbit around the pair whose gravitational effects maintain the eccentricity of the binary. Circumbinary disks that may indicate processes of planet formation have been found around several stars, and are in fact common around binaries with separations less than three astronomical units. One notable example is in the HD 98800 system, which comprises two pairs of binary stars separated by around 34 astronomical units. The binary subsystem HD 98800b, which consists of two stars of 0.70 and 0.58 solar masses in a highly eccentric orbit with semi-major axis 0.983 astronomical units, is surrounded by a complex dust disk that is being warped by the gravitational effects of the mutually inclined and eccentric stellar orbits. The other binary subsystem, HD 98800a, is not associated with significant amounts of dust. Topic system characteristics The Kepler results indicate circumbinary planetary systems are relatively common as of October 2013 the spacecraft had found seven planets out of roughly 1,000 eclipsing binaries searched. Topic stellar configuration There is a wide range of stellar configurations for which circumbinary planets can exist. Primary star masses range from 0.69 to 1.53 solar masses Kepler 16a and pH 1a, star mass ratios from 1.03 to 3.76 Kepler 34 and pH 1, and binary eccentricity from 0.023 to 0.521 Kepler 47 and Kepler 34. The distribution of planet eccentricities, range from nearly circular E equals 0.007 to a significant E equals 0.182 Kepler 16 and Kepler 34. No orbital resonances with the binary have been found. Topic orbital dynamics The binary stars Kepler 34a and b have a highly eccentric orbit e equals around each other and their interaction with the planet is strong enough that a deviation from Kepler's laws is noticeable after just one orbit. Co-planarity All Kepler circumbinary planets that were known as of August 2013 orbit their stars very close to the plane of the binary in a prograde direction which suggests a single disk formation. However, not all circumbinary planets are coplanar with the binary. Kepler 413b is tilted 2.5 degrees, which may be due to the gravitational influence of other planets or a third star. Taking into account the selection biases, the average mutual inclination between the planetary orbits and the stellar binaries is within approximately 3 degrees, consistent with the mutual inclinations of planets in multi planetary systems. Axial tilt precession The axial tilt of Kepler 413b's spin axis might vary by as much as 30 degrees over 11 years, leading to rapid and erratic changes in seasons. Migration Simulations show that it is likely that all of the circumbinary planets known prior to a 2014 study migrated significantly from their formation location with the possible exception of Kepler 47 A B C. Topic: <laughs> Semi-major axes close to critical radius. The minimum stable star to circumbinary planet separation is about 2 to 4 times the binary star separation or orbital period about 3 to 8 times the binary period. 
The innermost planets in all the Kepler circumbinary systems have been found orbiting close to this radius. The planets have semi-major axes that lie between 1.09 and 1.46 times this critical radius. The reason could be that migration might become inefficient near the critical radius, leaving planets just outside this radius. Recently, it has been found that the distribution of the innermost planetary semi major axes is consistent with a log uniform distribution, taking into account the selection biases, where closer in planets can be detected more easily. This questions the pile up of planets near the stability limit as well as the dominance of planet migration. Absence of planets around shorter period binaries Most Kepler eclipsing binaries have periods less than one day but the shortest period of a Kepler eclipsing binary hosting a planet is 7.4 days The short period binaries are unlikely to have formed in such a tight orbit and their lack of planets may be related to the mechanism that removed angular momentum allowing the stars to orbit so closely. One exception is the planet around an X-ray binary MXB-1658-298, which has an orbital period of 7.1 hours. <laughs> planet size limit As of June 2016, all but one of the confirmed Kepler circumbinary planets are smaller than Jupiter. This cannot be a selection effect because larger planets are easier to detect. Simulations had predicted this would be the case. Habitability All the Kepler circumbinary planets are either close to or actually in the habitable zone. None of them are terrestrial planets, but large moons of such planets could be habitable. Because of the stellar binarity, the insulation received by the planet will likely be time varying in a way quite unlike the regular sunlight Earth receives. Transit probability Circumbinary planets are generally more likely to transit than planets around a single star. The probability when the planetary orbit overlaps with the stellar binary orbit has been obtained. For planets orbiting eclipsing stellar binaries such as the detected systems, the analytical expression of the transit probability in a finite observation time has been obtained. Topic: <laughs> List of circumbinary planets. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed circumbinary planets. A planet was discovered in 2014, but the binarity of the host star was discovered in 2016. Topic: <inaudible> Unconfirmed or doubtful. Orbital period measurement in years, hand calculated Fermi estimate will show this. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> A pair of planets around HD 202206 or a circumbinary planet. HD 202206 is a Sun-like star orbited by two objects, one of 17 mj and one of 2.4 mj. The classification of HD 202206b as a brown dwarf or «superplanet» is currently unclear. The two objects could have both formed in a protoplanetary disk with the inner one becoming a superplanet, or the outer planet could have formed in a circumbinary disk. A dynamical analysis of the system further shows a 5 to 1 mean motion resonance between the planet and the brown dwarf. These observations raise the question of how this system was formed, but numerical simulations show that a planet formed in a circumbinary disk can migrate inward until it is captured in resonance. Fiction Circumbinary planets are common in many science fiction stories In the Trigun series, the planet orbits a binary star system. In the Star Wars series, planet Tatooine orbits in a close binary system. In the series Doctor Who, planet Gallifrey once orbited a binary star system. Another binary system featured in the chase. In the Star Fox series, the planets orbit Lilat and Solar an M-class red dwarf. In the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, the circumbinary planet Magrathea is described as the "...impossible planet". Watcher's Web Return of the Agherians, Book 1 by Jansen, Paddy. 
Topic References Topic Further reading Planets in Binary Star Systems, Nader Hagahapur, Springer, 2010, ISBN 978 90 481 8686 0. 